Hey everybody, David here with TND Sports Cards. I'd like to welcome you to our newest video. And today we are going to open some packs of 1986 Topps football. And we are going to be looking for uh, mainly two huge rookie cards in Jerry Rice and Steve Young. But we also have Brute Smith's uh, rookie card in here as well. Um, along with uh, countless other stars and Hall of Famers and uh, some other rookies. Um, we actually, when we did our 1986 uh, weekend way back, we got a Bruce Smith rookie car, but it had the gum stuck to it and bled completely through it. Uh, basically, the card is totally ruined. Uh, not much... Uh, not much you could do uh, do about that, unfortunately, but um, that's the breaks you get. Uh, we did actually pull a, a Joe Montana uh, in that pack as well, so that was uh, that was a pretty good uh, pretty good pack break. So hopefully we'll have uh, some more good luck with this one as well. And uh, you know, with that, let's uh, see what we can find here. These are kind of cool looking cards they have uh, kind of the design of like a football field um, on the borders and uh, that's nice that the gum is there and did not appear to impede anything in here we also had some issues with this uh, thousand yard rusher card or thousand yard uh, card sticking to the card behind it so uh, it doesn't look like we have that issue with this pack okay so we have Randy Edwards, Elvis Patterson of the Giants, Johnny Lamb Jones, Leslie Frazier. I think we might have pulled his rookie card in um, one of the pack openings we had. I'm trying I'm trying to remember what year what year that was, but I think we did get his rookie card. Okay, so we have Greg Townsend. Mickey Schuler, he was really good for the Jets for a number of years. After really not doing a whole lot for the first several years he was on the team, he was really not uh, a primary target, but uh, that definitely changed, uh, especially when Kenny O'Brien came along. I remember that he was one of his favorite targets. All right, so we have a Roger Craig... I don't know if this is a, like considered an, an action card. I guess it's a team leaders card with uh, Roger Craig on it. Pretty nice. It's got one of my uh, one of my favorite uh, all time football players on there, Nolan Cromwell. Yeah, we have Lynn Dickey. He played an awfully long time. Lomas Brown of the Lions, and James Wilder is our 1,000-yard Russian club card. So I'll keep that one aside. And we have Tommy Kramer, Morton Anderson, a checklist. Uh, Dave Dewerson, who I believe unfortunately passed away uh, several years ago, but he, um, I think he actually allowed his brain or part of his brain to be donated for um, for research for concussions for uh, NFL football players. Um, he apparently had uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of problems after he retired um, with uh, not only headaches but uh, some serious uh, brain issues. Uh, Eugene Daniel Albert Lewis, and we have, I guess, our Cowboys team leader card. That's Tony Hill. And the last card of this pack is Stan Brock. All right, so nothing uh, terribly significant in that pack there. And move on to number two. And we got one Hall of Famer on the back here, and we got gum stuck to another one another card that we hobie hobie brenner is going to suffer the brunt of the gum in this pack all right 
And it looks like we might be running into that rushing leader thing issue again here in the middle. Thankfully, it's Reggie Camp. All right, so we have Steve Largen. He's our first Hall of Famer. Jay Schrader. Okay. Uh, Gary Ellis. And we got Eric Dickerson, uh, Rams team leader card. He's in the Hall of Fame. Mike Merriweather. Lonnie Young. Zeke Moat, he was really good for a couple of seasons. Um, actually, I remember the 84 season being a big year for him. So I'm not sure if much happened after that because they uh, the Giants got Mark Bavaro. And uh, Bavaro was basically all world for about five years. He was as good of a tight end as I've ever seen. Kurt Sohn. And as we mentioned, Tony Dorsett, he's our Hall of Famer. First one we saw, then we uh, got the Steve Largen. All right, so let's see if we can separate these guys. Yeah, same thing as uh, that last time. They uh, stuck together, unfortunately. That's too bad. All right, so we have Carl Mecklenburg. He was quite good. And Bernie Kozar with the Browns team leader. I don't know, is that supposed to be on an angle like that? That look, I don't know if that's like really miscut on the front there. I don't know. The other ones look straight, so I guess it kind of is off center. Frank Bush, Al Gross, Bill Moss, and Carlos Carson is our last card for that pack. All right, so still nothing terribly significant to this point. We got our last pack here. And thankfully the gum isn't sticking this time. So maybe, yep, this one looks pretty good. All right, so we have Dieter Brock, who really was a Canadian football player. He had that one year with the Rams where they got to the Super Bowl. Or got to the, I'm sorry, got to the NFC Championship game and got uh, pretty much uh, wiped out pretty easily by the Bears. Tony Franklin, Dave Jennings, Cody Rissian, and we got a Dan Fouts card here, or Chargers team leader. He's in the Hall of Fame. Sean Farrell, another team leader card here. Gerald Riggs. He was pretty good. Chris Hinton. Gary Anderson. And Gerald Riggs is also our 1,000-yard rusher. Or 1,000-yard club card. I keep calling it a rusher card. I apologize for that. Uh, Gary Danielson. Willie Galt, I guess this is probably his third card. And we have Eric Dickerson, this is his third card. That's a good one. Uh, Lewis Wright of the Broncos, John Harris, oh, Billy Sims. I didn't think Billy Sims had cards this late. I would have thought the card in the 84 might have been his last one, so I guess he had an 85 card and an 86. But, yeah, he was uh, he was already done at this point, unfortunately. Got hurt in the middle of the 84 season and never played again. All right, Mike Merriweather of the Steelers. And our last card is Jeremiah Castile. Okay, so we did not find any of the really big ones here. Um, we did get a very nicely centered Billy Smith, uh, Billy Sims card. I was always a big fan of his. I mentioned that on my other videos. I feel like he uh, is worthy of the Hall of Fame based on what he accomplished in his short career. Uh, we got Eric Dickerson, who is in the Hall of Fame and is also worthy of what he's accomplished. Uh, we got a Dan Fouts, Chargers team leader. We got Tony Dorsett, who is also in the Hall of Fame. This is a nice card. 
it's a bit off center top to bottom. And we got another Eric Dickerson with the team leader. And Steve Largent, who very much is worthy of being in the Hall of Fame. All right, so there you have it. We have 1986 Topps football cards. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, we did not pull any of the really, really big cards from this set, but we, uh, we did find some nice ones. So I want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, and as always, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.